One day I got a telephone call. Perinola, I have an important question. I said, what's that? And she said, Ben and I are thinking about having a baby. I know that you've managed to have your children and to have your career, and we really need some advice. And anyone who knows Aviva knows that when she is beginning any project, she does lots of investigation. I grew up in a family where music was just our life's blood. My father was a jazz pianist and my mother's father was also a cantor. Uh, I got into the, the death metal by myself. To be a young mom and a professional, especially a, a cantor, uh, was not that easy. So there was one night where uh, she couldn't get a babysitter and she had her duties on Shabbat services, so she just brought me onto the bima. I must have been all of two or three at the time. And she was holding me in her arms as she was saying prayers, and she was probably going through some you know, beautiful liturgical pieces. And I, st I started saying, don't sing, mommy, don't sing, into the microphone. You know, it's really funny in retrospect. I'm sure I would have been a little bit horrified if I were in the audience. <laughs> We have to mention, of course, Cantor Rosenblum's funny bone and her wit at creating puns. She always had a parody for everything. She always had a good pun for everything. The poem spiels were really wonderful. Hi, Mr. Amen. You will wish you never sent out that decree. Hi, Mr. Heyman. Cause you didn't know that it applies to me. I've got chutzpah, charm, and brains. You'll have torrents, gloom, and pains. Oi, 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 Mr. Heyman. Just you wait. When I was in the hospital this past year with an illness, um, I had um, many alone times, but also many times with friends. And one of those friends was Aviva. She came several times uh, to sit with me, just to sit and talk, or let me sleep. And the nurses would say, Wow, you have some incredible friends. That's Aviva. I think the fit between what Temple Israel needed and wanted and what I could provide was just right. It's an honor, a privilege, a mitzvah, and a joy. And I'm thinking of the amazing high holiday services and the powerful experience it is to stand in front of the congregation and sing the Kol Nidre every year. Um, the honor and the almost scary mandate to take the deeds of the congregation and to ask for forgiveness. Aviva, it's a joy for me to be on this pulpit with you tonight. And it has been and continues to be my joy to share the voice of women in the cantor with you. I'd like to say to Aviva, to you, that uh, I love you very much. I'm looking forward to her in this new phase of life and doing lots of other things in lots of different other ways, including writing more music and making more CDs. You hear that, Aviva? That's very important. Aviva, all I can say to you is I love you, thank you for helping me enjoy my rabbinate in a way that I could never have known without you. So once again, mazel tov to you on this unique achievement and this distinction. When we're alone or with our sisters, sometimes we ask ourselves where we're going. There is no answer, but there's
there's a story that keeps us on the road we're on. The road we're on, the road we're on, that keeps us on the road we're on.